Hi everyone, welcome back to Autel Channel. We've demonstrated how to perform wheel alignment pre-check in our last episode. Today, we are going to introduce the ATIS Calibrate and how to perform it. So let's get started. What functions can ATIS Calibrate perform? It can perform calibrations for seven functions in ATIS, including ACC or Adaptive Cruise Control Calibration and LDW or Lane Departure Warning calibration, and so forth. Let me show you how to do it. Tap ATIS Calibrate, where a list of purposes of calibration will be shown here. Select one purpose from the list. Will different purposes have different steps? Precisely. Steps will vary for different calibration purposes, so you can choose your purpose based upon your needs. We will use Front Recognition Camera as an example, and tap the icon here to proceed to the next page, where it shows situations that need calibrations. Can we choose several options or can we only choose one? You can choose one, two, or all options according to your needs. Here, we'll choose all of them. Tap this, it selects all fields, press OK. Now we're gonna select the accessory kit we have, which is choice A, the camera kit. So tap A, we come to this next page where we have to choose where the vehicle is parked. Like if it's on a level ground or a spot where the frame and the vehicle are not at the same level. So let's tap A since we are obviously on a level ground here. There it displays all needed calibration tools for the selected calibration. So in terms of wheel clamps and targets, we only need two rear wheel clamps and targets during ATIS Calibrate, not like the four wheels in the wheel alignment pre-check. Exactly. We will use them with the alignment aid to measure the distance from the vehicle to the frame. So let's tap OK. Here we see the vehicle preparations that are needed for a successful calibration. This step is just to ensure there are no materials in front of the vehicle, so cameras can capture the target. Precisely. So let's tap OK. And here, we just follow the instructions to prepare the vehicle. So now we are ready to set up the whole thing. Let's do it. All right. Let's tap Setup. And here we come to the Auxiliary Tool Positioning page. We've seen this one before. Basically, it shows us how to place all required tools in the right places. You might remember, but we've also done this for the wheel alignment pre-check. Exactly. So first, let's rotate the fine-tuning bolt here. And Travis, do you see these two red lines? I can see them. Let's align them. So That's about even. Excellent. Next, we need to loosen this clamp right here, loosen the handle. And I'm going to come to the other side. We adjust this knob in order for the pointer and the red dash to be aligned. Next. We will tighten the bolt here, and then once again, tighten the handle, like so. Going to return to the tablet, tap Next Page, where it asks us to adjust the height of the crossbar if needed. I remember this step is to make sure that the cameras can recognize the targets. Precisely. So let's follow the instructions. Ensure that the height of the crossbar is aligned with the center of the front wheels. If it's not, let's use this adjustment handle right here to align them. Next, I'm going to turn on the laser from the sliding plate and make sure that it's roughly in the center of the car, like so. There we go. We're gonna click on Next Page. And now we need to attach the two rear wheel clamps and targets. I remember doing this last time. Yeah, so how about you take that side? I'll take the right side. No problem. How are you doing over there? All set. We'll return to the tablet and tap Next Page. Here 
here we will place the alignment aid in front of the vehicle, which is located right here. So let's bring this alignment aid over here. There we go. So we are placing the, ensuring the pointer touches the license plate and is aimed at the center of the license plate as precise as possible. The center camera will capture the target and measure the distance from the front of the vehicle to the frame. Do we have to use the center camera? Actually, the center camera is one of the key features that makes the i800 stand out and unique. You will know its power later. Now it tells us we've obtained the position of the alignment aid, so we can remove the alignment aid right now. Would you mind doing so, Travis? I'll handle that for you. Thank you. Wonderful. So let's tap OK to adjust the frame for calibration now. This page shows us how to adjust the frame and angles to ensure that we get the ideal values for calibration. It's where we will feel the power of the whole system and understand how it improves efficiency. Can you guess how long it takes me to get the three ideal values here? If I'm guessing, I would probably have to say about three minutes. Nope, in as little as one minute. That's impossible. Luckily for me, I brought my timer. All right, tell me when to go. All right, begin in three, two, one. All right, and 23 seconds. Wow, Woo. how did you do that? Mm. Firstly, I moved the frame forward based on the arrow's direction. Secondly, I rotated the frame to adjust its angles based on the sign shown on the screen, and I rotated with the use of the fine tuning bolt here to get the ideal value. Then I loosened the handle and rotated the bolt here to adjust the offset value. So just follow the instructions on the right to move the frame and adjust its angles accordingly. All is done within one minute. Like I said, the IA800 has hugely increased efficiency. So during the process, did the center camera really help get values faster? What problem has the center camera solved? Actually, the center camera has helped us get faster and more accurate values compared with old systems. In the past, we measured the distance from the front of the vehicle to the frame by setting the alignment aid simply by the vehicle side. We visually judged if the alignment aid is at the same level with the license plate. But as you know, visual measurement might cause errors and we couldn't get accurate values. Now with the center camera, it measures the distance accurately. There's no more need for visual measurement or errors. Values are captured and are more precise. So you're telling me the center camera is definitely one of our edges for more accurate calibration. What makes the whole process done in one minute? How can it be achieved so efficiently? The reason why we can achieve that is due to the combination of the camera system and the positioning software. With their combination, we can finish setting the frame quickly in place within one minute compared with eight minutes with old systems. That's totally unprecedented in the market now. Did you notice the values were changing very fast when I was moving the frame? I sure did. Mm, that's because the cameras capture the targets quickly, calculate values efficiently, then populate the values on the tablet in real time. So the frame placement time has been greatly reduced from eight minutes to one. What else do you think has improved the efficiency here? Mm, our clear instructions, user-friendly interface, and useful designs have also made the process faster and more efficient. During this process, we have rough adjustment when moving the frame and fine adjustment by rotating the fine-tuning bolts. The signs on the screen, the fine-tuning bolts, etc. These delicate designs all have made calibrations faster, accurate, 
and repeatable. It has saved so much time and improved accuracy and efficiency. So the whole process is definitely repeatable. Simple operation and same efficiency. Absolutely. Now you feel its power, right? Let's not get carried away. Currently, we've achieved the required values. So let's tap next step. Until now, the system has gotten the values needed for calibration. So after the three steps on the screen, then we are ready for calibration. Yes, so step one, let's rotate all four wheels to fix the frame. I think I can help you with that. Oh, thank you, Travis. Done. Step two. We are going to turn off the switches of the camera kit right here. And we are going to turn off the laser on the sliding plate as so. For step three, we are going to remove the wheel clamps and targets. I have to admit, that is pretty simple. Mm hmm So let's go remove those. Let's return to the tablet station. And I'm going to plug in our machines because we're going to need that later. All right, so let's press OK. To enter the calibration phase of the vehicle's ATIS system. So that's all before we perform the LDW calibration. I think it's pretty easy as long as we follow the instructions and adjust the angles and distances and so forth. Yep, now let's perform the LDW calibration. We'll tap OK. And this page will tell us to confirm again if the frame has been placed correctly. Let's tap OK again. Now we're going to attach the target board holder onto the crossbar sliding plate. We're going to do that right now. I'll bring this overhead and just slide these, this into the two slots right there. Ah, you're smart, yes. Tighten it as needed. And we're going to press OK. Now you might notice that I do indeed have a target board in my hand right now, so I'm going to place that in the front. I'm going to place this right onto the holder here. And you'll see a hook on the top. So just be sure to assemble it as so. Return to the tablet and I will press OK. When you have the target board holder placed as so, it's important to pay attention to the light during this step as inappropriate lighting may cause the failure of calibrations. So ensure there are no reflective objects around the target board so that the front camera can recognize it. So here, we are now going to rotate all four bolts on the base to keep the target board holder horizontal. We can also confirm this by checking if the bubbles here are in the center. Now, and they are indeed in the center, so we're okay. So let's tap okay. Now we need to adjust the height of the target board. So we're gonna loosen the ruler right here and let it touch the ground, measuring the distance from the ground to the center of the target board. So press the power button here, and we're able to use the two power buttons located right here to lift to de descend or ascend the crossbar. We're gonna set the pointer at 1350 millimeters. So we're gonna bring that up as so. Now, of course, we can also do this by rotating the handle here, but holding my finger down is much more simple. We're getting pretty close. All right, so now let's press OK. 
And here we are prompted to confirm the following conditions. Ensure that the engine is not running and the ignition is on. We have done that already, so let's tap next. So this page shows the front camera's various parameters, like the distance between it and the front tire, etc. This tablet will calibrate the front camera based on the parameters. Correct. So let's tap OK and OK again. We're going to move the target board to the center of the target board holder. And Travis, do you see the red lines right there? I can see it right in the middle. Yes. Yep, that's to align the pointer on the sliding plate with it, ensuring the target board is in the center. And let's tap OK. Now we're going to slide the target board to the left and the, from the perspective of the car to the mark of 550 millimeters, like so. And we're going to once again tap OK. Let me guess. After doing the left side of the car, now we do the right? Exactly. I think I can handle this one. All right, have at it. All the way down to 550 and hit OK. Boom. Now, if we can capture these three values successfully, then we've completed the entire LDW calibration process. If we failed, then we need to check if the camera is properly installed. So we just follow these steps to finish the LDW calibration, right? Yes. Thanks for introducing the Intelligent ADOS Optical Positioning System, IA800, and for demonstrating how to use its two functions, wheel alignment pre-check and ADOS calibrate. Honestly, I was stunned by how the six high resolution cameras and positioning software provide accurate positioning and how it makes the calibration easier, faster, and more precise. The whole process has been a real eye-opener to me, particularly the camera system. Thanks so much, Michael. No problem, Travis. Being one of the world's leading equipment that has successfully combined wheel alignment pre-check and ATIS Calibrate, the IA800 indeed has revolutionized the way technicians perform calibrations and has taken precision and accuracy of calibration to a new level. It successfully integrates two functions, wheel alignment pre-check and ATIS Calibrate into one performs these two functions accurately, positions efficiently the frame in as little as one minute, and provides before and after reports, after pre-check and calibrations if necessary. So now I want to ask you, how do you find the IA800? Comment down below to let us know. If you have any questions about the IA800, please contact our Autel support team. Thank you for watching this video, and as always, See you next time.